Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel MBB Mohit Sharma. Today I have come up with another important tool which is FMEA. FMEA stands for Failure Mode and Effect Analysis. This tool has the potential to anticipate and prevent problems which can later give us a stable and standardized processes. FMEA can be used in the major phase of a Six Sigma project to identify the potential failure modes. It can also be used in the improved phase of a DMAC project where new solutions are to be implemented so before implementing those new solutions, you need to identify the failure modes and if their RPN scores are greater than 100, then you have to provide mitigants or recommended actions. So once the risk priority number for all those failure modes are less than 100, then you implement your new solutions. So let's learn how to create an FMEA. Let's get started with the video. What is FMEA? Failure mode and effect analysis. Failure modes are any errors or defects in a process design or items, especially those that affect the customer and can be potential or actual. Effect analysis refers to studying the consequences of those failures. FMEA is a method designed for any given product or service to identify and understand the potential failure modes, their causes and effects of those failures on the system or end users. FMEA helps to identify the risk associated with the failure modes and prioritize them. FMEA helps develop corrective actions on the prioritized failure modes. FMEA, there is a rating scale. There are terminologies called severity, occurrence and detection. These terminologies have their different rating scales. All these three rating scales are from 1 to 10. Under the severity scale, there is a criteria identified to define the rating for a particular failure mode. Severity scale of 10 means injure a customer or employee. Severity scale of 9 means be illegal or a compliance issue. Severity rating of 8 means render product or service outfit for use. Severity scale of 7 means cause extreme customer dissatisfaction. Likewise for severity rating of 1, it would be be unnoticed and not affect the performance. Similarly for occurrence scale, if the failure mode is occurring more than once per day, then a rating of 10 is given. And if the failure mode is occurring once in 6 to 100 years, rating of 1 is given. Next is detection scale. So detection scale is opposite of occurrence and severity scale. More the detection, lesser the score. Detection rating of 10 is given when defect caused by failure is not detectable. And a detection rating of 1 is given when defect is obvious and can be kept from affecting the customer. Next terminology used is RPN which is risk priority number. And the formula to calculate RPN is severity into occurrence into detection. For example, 5 severity, 5 occurrence and 5 detection will give 125 as RPN score. Any failure mode whose RPN score is greater than 100 should be taken up and worked upon. During FMEA, if the RPN score of two failure modes are similar, then the failure mode with greater severity score is to be prioritized. This template can be used to create FMEA. Let us understand this template. This template has item, core team, responsibility, prepared by, FMEA date and page number. The first step is to fill the process function. It means which is the process function on which we are doing the FMEA. Next you have to fill is the potential failure mode and then potential effect of the failure. Next, you have to take help of the rating scale and identify the severity rating of the particular failure mode. Next, write down the potential cause of the failure and give an occurrence rating using the rating scale. Next, write down the current process controls and give a detection rating. Next, calculate the RPN score by multiplying the severity, occurrence and detection scores. All failure modes with the RPN score of greater than 100 should have a recommended action. Then those actions should have responsibility and target completion date. You should also repeat the same process after three months and see what were the action taken. What is the severity, occurrence and detection score now? And if the RPN score is less than 100, then the process is good to go. Also remember that FMEA is a live document and it should be reviewed after every three to six months time. Let us understand this with the help of an example. In this example, the item is vendor invoice, core team is account payable team, responsibility of this FMEA is quality resource and it is prepared by a quality resource. Date of the FMEA is 19th November. First process is to fill the process function. 
which is accounts payable. Potential failure mode is scanned copy of invoices not reaching on time. So potential effect of failure is delay in payment processing. Looking at the rating scale, a severity score of 7 is given. There could be two potential causes of this failure. One is US team is not able to finish work on time. US team is scanning these documents and then uploading these documents on a server. And the second potential cause of failure is server issue. And then we check the occurrence of these two failures. The occurrence of the first one was more. So a rating of 9 is given. And the occurrence of server issue was less. And hence a rating of 7 is given. Process controls. There were no process controls for both of the issues. And hence a detection score of 10 is given. RPN score of 630 is the multiplication of 7 into 9 into 10. Similarly, the RPN score of 490 is also a multiplication of 7 into 7 into 10. So we need to create a recommended action plan for both of them. So for first one, so team has created SLA which is service level agreement for US team. And the recommendation was to discuss the performance of the team on weekly basis on conference calls. And for the second issue, they created a backup server and a hotline for internet access so that server issue gets resolved. The responsibility for the first failure mode was given to general manager of AP team. His responsibility was to create the SLAs and create the dashboard and start discussions on conference calls. The responsibility for the second failure mode was given to IT manager and AP general manager because they have to create the backup server and they have to create the hotline for internet access. After two months, the actions were reviewed. The action taken were created SLAs for US team to scan and upload 100% invoices on daily basis. That was being done. And there was a dashboard which was also circulated across and discussed. And for the second issue, they have also created the hotline and a backup server. Severity score of these two will remain the same. The occurrence and the detection score has gone down drastically and the RPN score was 84 and 63. These two issues are now resolved and the process is under control. So friends, FMEA is not merely filling the sheet. It should be done properly with the right team composition and with the right methods. I hope you find this video useful. Please share your comments in the comment box below. Thank you so much for watching. Of this video you will find a short clip about my recently authored book 8 steps to problem solving now my book is also available at crossword stores gurugram